again. It's a red stick. Welcome back to another video. So I'm going to do a poly gel set today. A really cute pink poly gel set. I'm going to be using these XXL coffin tips. I do snip them down a tiny bit though. So I'm just using regular brush on nail glue. I'm just going to show you gluing a couple of those on. Um, I have had to speed this video up one more than I normally do because it was a long set. Every single nail was different. So there wasn't really anything I could skip. I don't really like skipping anyway. So I've kept a, l a little bit of everything in to show you. But it is slightly sped up more than normal. So I'm just going to quickly file over where I've glued them on just to blend them in a little bit more. So I'm going to give these a quick base coat. I'm using SXC base coat because I'm using SXC poly gel so I thought I'd stick with their base coat. Just a nice thin even coat, cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. This poly gel I'm using to start with is called Radiance SXC. It is beautiful. Wait and see the shimmer in this. I tried to show you but it's, diff it's difficult to see. It is a beautiful poly gel. You can get 15% off SXC website guys. I've got a code. It's always in my description box. You'll see it down there somewhere. So I'm doing a nail bed on this finger. And with nail beds, I just kind of pull it down the middle and just keep swiping it in at the sides. Just swipe it in more and more at the sides and round it off at the tip. It won't set, it won't hard until you put it in the lamp. So just, just play about with it till you've got it how you like it. And I'm going to stick that in the lamp for 60 seconds as well. Beautiful poly gel. I really, really like it. I always forget about half the poly gels I've got. <laughs> so this finger is going to be a full, full nail of this poly gel. So again, I'm just tucking it in. Concentrate on that cuticle area. You get that nice and neat. And then I'm just going to pat it and pull it. I just keep patting it and pulling it a little bit at a time. Swiping down them sides and try and keep it the same shape as the tip underneath. It'll help with filing if you can get it as neat as you can now it will save a lot of time when it comes to filing so i'm going to stick that in the lamp for 60 seconds as well now onto this pink it this is an sxc poly gel this is just um a pink one i wasn't really bothered about color because i'm going to be painting over this with gel polish so i just pulled one out that i've got a couple of but it's a beautiful pink, isn't it? And again, same as the pointer finger. I'm just going to keep patting it and pulling it and fill that whole nail. And that's going to get 60 seconds in the lamp as well. So I pulled these maple leaves out to use. They are gorgeous. They've got like splatters of... Um, pink with like an ultraviolet purple colour shift like little splatters all over each leaf each leaf is different and I pulled out raspberry ripple glitter perfect match absolute perfect match but what I didn't realise is the match was a little bit too perfect and you just couldn't see the leaves I ended up not being able to use them I was gutted this whole set I sketched out on paper took me about an hour to work out what I was doing this whole set was based around those leaves and I ended up not being able to use them I was gutted <laughs> but I'll show you and tell you more about that later in the video so I've just filed that nail bed just to get it a little bit more neat and I'm using some of my gel box colors so this is white and these gels are fantastic I love using them they've got that acrylic paint feel to them you know when you get just a good quality gel and it paints like it's an acrylic the them kind of gels the fantastic quality and i've got a 15 percent off code for gel box that's in my description box as well and i've just painted a little white band around that nail bed i just think it helps it just makes your nail beds look a little bit neater when it comes to filing right so let's get on to this glitter i've put a base coat down i've not cured it and i'm going to completely fill the free edge with this glitter and i've pulled out a little bit of silver leaf as well 
and just broke some tiny bits up. I'm going to stick some silver leaf on. So I'll completely cover this whole free edge with the glitter. And I'm going to cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. And same with this nail, I've gave it a base coat. I didn't want to cover this, I just wanted a little, just a little sprinkle of the glitter up this nail. I wanted some of it to stay transparent and that's going to get cured in a lamp as well. So this is where I realised these leaves are not going to work. Look guys, they just disappeared. So I've put two or three on and you just can't see them. I was gutted so... I've had to take them back off and I've pulled out some iridescent white and some silver. The iridescent white, I've got a pink, pinky purple shift so you could see them a lot better. Yeah, I was gutted. This whole set was based around those pink leaves. <laughs> but you can see these ones a lot better. So on this ring finger, I'm just going to do a little nail bed fade. So I'm just going to fade this off down the nail. I'm going to get it all nice and neat and then just swipe it down the nail just fade it off feather it off and i'm going to cure that for 60 seconds i am going to put some leaves on this ring finger but i put them on at the end i'm going to encapsulate these nails now with 2 big lamb clear best clear poly gel i've ever used and i've used my quartz and i think this is so much better it's same clarity it's exactly the same crystal clear as my court, but i think this is easier to work with it's not as sticky Anyway, I'm going to encapsulate these nails and I'm going to give them a quick file and a quick buff off camera because the video was just so long, I've done that off camera. So that's them filed and buff. Can you see that white paint I put around the nail bed? It just gives it more of a crisper nail bed, doesn't it? So I'm using pink lemonade from Gelbox. Look at this pink. <laughs> if you go on Gelbox website, guys, some of the colours that they have left over from the monthly gel boxes, um, you can buy separately. Well worth having a nosy on there. Um, so I've painted that pinky, and on this pointer finger, I'm just going to do a bit of a plaid slash sweater nail so i'm just doing a big pink thick line i should have done the white first i quickly realized after this thick line shit i need to do the white first so i'm just going to cure that and now i'm going to do all the white bits and then i'll go back in and finish off the pink lines so i'll just let you watch for a sec i'm curing these in the lamp for 30 seconds So sticking with gel box, I'm going to use their matte top coat and I'm going to matte top coat this pinky and the pointer finger, I'm going to give that a glossy top coat and I'm going to matte top coat just the pink. So this is matte top coat. Now I'm just matte top coating those pink stripes because I want to do a bit of a sweater nail on the pink. So I'm just doing little, the like letter S's, 
cross between an S and a Z, aren't they? I'm going to carry that on all the way down the nail and I'm not curing this. I'm going to sprinkle clear acrylic or you could use clear dip powder. Sprinkle it into that and then I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds. And now I'm just going to do a line, straight line down each side and I'm going to sprinkle the acrylic in that. Make sure you use a soft brush and brush off all that powder after it comes out the lamp before you go in with the next bit. And on the pointer finger I'm going to do exactly the same on that little pink strip, just going to do a little bit of a sweater nail. So I'm just adding a couple more leaves to this ring finger, I thought they'd stand out a little bit more doing the leaves on top of the nail. I think they did stand out, only a little bit more and I've gave these a quick top coat off camera and a buff to get them smooth again, ready for one last top coat. There we go guys, that is then finished. I love these. Really snuggy, cosy, warm, autumn, pink, autumn Aggie set. I'm trying to show you that polygel there. When it's out of focus, you can see the shimmer a lot better. But um, the camera does them no justice. I'm just gutted about them leaves. But I'll know next time. I think I should have used a more transparent glitter. And I think the leaves would have stood out a hell of a lot better. But I still love them regardless. I think they're a proper Aggie Autumn set, aren't they? Anyway, guys, that is it for today. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And hopefully I'll see you all back in my next one. Take care. Bye.